Steve Potts is another career hammer who will always be associated with the club. Born in Connecticut, USA in 1967, he nevertheless came to England and made his mark at West Ham United, making his debut on New Year's Day 1985. Potts started out as an orthodox right back before being moved into the centre of defence. He immediately made an impact on the schoolboy international scene, appearing for England at schoolboy and youth levels, gaining 11 caps. Potts captained the club at every level and has proved himself over the years with exquisitely timed tackles, always compensating for his lack of height with his composure on the ball and a calmness that always communicated itself to the players around him. Potts's determination and courage was never more clearly shown than during this Leeds game, Harry Redknapp's first in charge of West Ham, back in August 1994. Steve Potts uh, looked quite seriously injured. Could you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, he's had seven stitches in his eye and he's also broken his nose. So um, it was a bad knock. Um, I think, you know, Potts is so good looking, it might just bring him down to the level of one or two others, you know. One of the long running jokes in Potts' career was the fact that in 506 appearances, he only ever scored one goal. And here it is, in all its glory, against Hull City along with another opportunity he had to score in the same game. Bishop takes that in his stride, puts out on the right. Fancy his chances from there, Steve Putz. It's a swerving shot and a great save. Putz may have thought he had his first goal in senior football. Now here's Potts again. Tries from distance, has got a deflection, and the keeper couldn't keep it out. And Steve Potts finally has a goal for West Ham. It's his 88th game, and he scored. Steve Potts managed 17 seasons at the club, clocking up 506 first-team appearances, the seventh highest for any player at the Berlin. Although Steve only scored one goal, he contributed to many others. Here are just a few Steve Potts assists from his years at West Ham. Tinelli getting the header in there. Paris, will that goal lift the hammers? Slater to Potts, and that's a good ball to George Paris again. Paris has got past North, and Paris scores! A brilliant goal by Paris! Two goals in two minutes has set Upton Park alight. That's his first of the season. Keita Potts, Robson, what a bad cross from Potts, what a goal by Morley, a fabulous cross from Steve Potts, which Morley met on the full, the great goal for West Ham, and look at this superb curling cross from Potts, that made the job easy for Morley. And waving at it, Potts out on the left, that ball into Morley, flicks well to Hutchison, and Hammers have two! How vital a goal that may well be, we shall see. But uh, well worked goal from West Ham, Steve Potts picked the ball out, and he saw Morley was short. And it was the neat touch from Potts with Morley. Laid it beautifully off for Hutchison, who hits a second for West Ham. James had no chance. And just before the hour, West Ham have a comfortable lead. It's West Ham 2, Liverpool 0. And finally, an assist that Steve Potts just might want to forget. Benison steers it forward. He's looking for Matthew. Now Cole. 
Now Coley's still through. Can get across, and it's an own goal. It's Steve Fox. And that was the brilliant work of Cole. And Newcastle are in front. Potts was not the most garrulous of men, but he did manage a few interviews during his career and gave his opinions in this rare interview about playing under the floodlights at Upton Park. I don't know what it is. Um, it just seems a totally different atmosphere, really, of an evening. Um, just seems to get all the players going. Uh, I don't know what it is. You know, if we could do that on a Saturday every time, we wouldn't, wouldn't have any problems. But um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Potts was made club captain by Harry Redknapp when the vacancy came after Julian Dix's departure to Liverpool. Two seasons before, Potts had been ever-present in Billy Bond's side that won promotion to the Premiership in 1992-93. And his professionalism, determination and flair at the back made him an unchallenged contender and popular winner of that season's Hammer of the Year award, an accolade he was to win again two years later. The following season, 1995 to 96, during a televised match on a Monday night, Steve Potts received the only red card of his career as Newcastle romped to a 3-0 victory. And the attention the referee's decision that night received demonstrated the fact that it wasn't just West Ham fans who had admiration and respect for the unfortunate defender. Potts remained a squad player at Upton Park until the arrival of Glenn Roder and at the end of the 2000 to 2001 season, no longer part of the manager's plans, Potts left the club to join local side Dagenham and Redbridge. Hurst, Potts, Robson, Martin and Bonds just five from the extended list of giants to grace the green blades of turf at Upton Park. And thanks to this volume of legends, you can now enjoy their skills again and again at the touch of a button. Keep watching this space for future volumes, detailing the achievements of some of the greatest players that have ever played for West Ham United. True legends from the bowling past.